So I'm from Australia and uh, and I've known the training since 2009. So my life was probably, as everyone else describes beforehand, um, a life of avoidance, replacement, and what's the other one? Indulgence. Indulgence, very much so in all ways. So uh, when things didn't seem to go right, which was probably all the time, the feelings were always, you know, what's wrong with me, you know, blah, blah, on and on about how to fix my life and how to change it, how to feel better, how to look better, how to be better. Um, uh, I would usually uh, run away from a situation or um, indulge the situation with other people or um, replace it with some form of antidote. So by the time I met the training and I was already nearly your age, Adrian, um, <laughs> I was already, oh no, older, I was already in my 50s when I <laughs> met the training. So it wasn't before time because I'd had a long life of um, wondering who I am, what's going to become of my life and so on. So at that point, I met someone who's, you know, and I said as much, you know, is this, you know, are people just going to keep indulging in their data? Are they going to continue just pouring out what's wrong with them and how to fix themselves and what's wrong with the world? And isn't there somewhere else, you know? And someone said to me, I know, I know someone for you and her name's Candace O'Denver and so he sent me after a month or so I've forgotten about it really and uh, he sent a whole lot of CDs they were on CD at that time and so I started uh, listening to the CDs in the car and I travelled a lot. I was always in my car avoiding situations. <laughs> and uh, so Candace just spoke to me continuously, continuously. And I continued to listen. I didn't listen to music or uh, radio national news or anything after that. It was just Candace. It was something about her soothing voice, her soothing tones, and uh, uh, there was some truth that kept coming and pouring out, and it was heartfelt. I just knew that there was something in this. Um, shortly afterwards, the trainers, uh, many of the trainers, there were about eight of them, including Adrian and Katty Asaf and uh, Anya, and in, in Val and you just there were just a multitude and they came to Australia and I heard they were there just at a very poignant poignant time <laughs> it was very pertinent to me and uh, so I went down to Byron Bay from Brisbane where I live and uh, I think I was on the Gold Coast then and uh, went to an open meeting and I don't know what it was about the people, but they just seemed natural to me. And the naturalness almost brought tears to my eyes. My heart was really moved and uh, I wanted to know more. So within the next four days, we did the introductory and then they offered us the empowerments. And uh, so by this time, I was just totally intrigued and in how to be natural and open and free of all of the you know, painful thoughts about life and everybody else. So I started the 12 empowerments there and then in, in, in Byron still, or Brunswick Heads, and, uh, and did six of the empowerments one day after the other and then finished the empowerments online because the trainers had moved on then to Melbourne. And the transformation, um, the transformation was, uh, it's been, been described by Sylvan as, you know, you're running around on the hamster wheel and just going round and round and round. And then one day you fall off the hamster wheel and you think, oh my God, this is going to, ki this is going to kill me. This is the end of the world. And uh, the little hamster gets up and shakes the sawdust off and says, 
oh, I'm actually okay. And that was what it was like. It was like, wow, I'm actually okay. You know, I don't have to indulge, avoid, replace. And through doing the empowerments, it was very obvious where I was avoiding my life, where I was avoiding everybody really, and how I'd blame them for what I thought was wrong with me. <laughs> and how I would blame just everything, environment. So I'd change it all the time, uh, work, you know, these people, you know, can't work or think the way I do, so I have to move somewhere else, I have to change jobs. So this all changed and now I don't run away and I'm still here. And uh, this is so many years later and this is the fourth time I've sat up here. And, uh, you know, as I sit and look at everyone now, it's just so powerful to see how beautiful everyone is and how there's nothing wrong with anyone. And, um, and that you all just reflect, reflect um, open intelligence. And now my life is pure um, mainstays. I, um, <laughs> I, I'm just a four mainstayer. <laughs> um, yes, because I live alone in the mountains and uh, every day I'm in touch with the training, um, clarity calls and uh, you know, I do transcriptions from Candice's talks and uh, I'm empowered every single day to take short moments to relax, to just be as I am. And the changes are really obvious just in sitting here, just to feel relaxed. And with everyone and my family, everyone, life has changed.